Welcome, welcome, welcome to Kickstart Radio 102.4. I'm your host, Lipstick Patty, and today we're looking at Rolling Plunder. This looks like a great pirate card game battle game with lots of promise, so let's go to the intro. The year 1716. The flames of war in Europe have burned out, pushing thousands of unemployed sailors to abandon their former occupations for a life of piracy in the New World. However, these rewards come with great risk. The empires of the Old World have sent privateers and navy warships to the Caribbean with one goal. Eliminate the Pirate Scourge. As the noose tightens and prizes grow scarce, even the most loyal buccaneers have turned on each other. It's time to run up the black flag, grow the fleet, and fight to become the greatest pirate in history. Welcome to the seas of rolling plunder. Now this is an indie card game with a lot of promise. We think we should need some extra things that we mention on the Kickstarter, so um, you'll find out now. So let's go to the Kickstarter page right after this. The next social stretch goal on KISS 102.4 is the 250 subscriber. Subscribe today and unlock new music that will change the music in all the videos in the future. You could be part of the evolution. All right, rolling plunder. Hoist your black flag. Terrorize the seas and build your reputation as the greatest pirate in history. Oh yes, this has got me mega excited. Oh, look at this art. Look at this art. Uh, it looks like um, Dark Horse Comics doing a pirate um, style book. Um, I do like it. Look at the Look at this stern look of this captain here, looking at the pirate who's being smug. <laughs> I do like it indeed. Um, yeah, so this is a card game with a bit of a, a spicy difference coming from War Games over here. Some strange pledges here. This is kind of the text from the uh, video above, which I did a bit of, um, did my own version of in the intro. Hope you like that. Rules here right at the top of the page. We'll have a look at them when we get to the bottom. Um, re the first one here is about um, backers for one dollar and you'll be able to vote during the campaign. COVID-19 mentioned and um, this tier will grant you exclusivity, early access to the game. But um, yeah, it's not like Pledge Manager, this is just like a print and play. Um, early, ba early backers, this is a limited offer, so hopefully you see this video before it goes out. You get um, a food bar bumper sticker for your car. <laughs> A limited edition copy of the game signed by the creators, which is nice. And uh, the digital copy is coming with each one. So the Hoist Your Black Flag Pledge, this is the basic 30. Um, the other ones just give you more, more copies. Um, so yeah, if you want the limited edition copy, um, you've got to come in as an early backer, 30 bucks. Do you love pirates? Yes, I do. I love pirates. Now this <laughs> this does have a solo mode, and um, it's one to four. Um, you do start off with a very small ship, a schooner, and you're sailing the high seas to go and take down other ships. If you would, if you if you defeat a ship, you can take one of the crew off it and put them onto your ship, um, which is really really cool. 
and you, you can buy loads of upgrades for your ship. It's super, super cool. It really is. Um, we'll explain how the game works as we go down, but here's the box. Um, can't wait, cannot wait to see the stretch goals of this game. I really want to see it stretched. My only concern is the super thick border that's around all these cards. <laughs> It is like the biggest board I've seen. It's it's almost too it is too big in my opinion. Never mind, almost it is. Um, so yeah, twenty eight crew. Um, your ship can only hold a certain amount of crew. So I think the the basic one can only hold two. The green cards are like elite crew, and you can only have one of these on your ship. And um, in the rules anyway, you could probably home home cook it so you could have more of them. That would be quite fun. An elite crew. I mean, after all, you're pirates. You can have whoever want. I can have whoever I want on it. But I guess for balance reasons, that you can only have one of them. Um, the dice, custom dice. I love these. The, the balloons. It looks like these are going to come in out of cards, so I hope there's a coin pack because I do love the ship emblem here. It looks very cool. Um, and if they do come as coins, this idea of doubloons, it would be a bit rough around the edges. If you look away, look at Castaway Curse, the doubloons that they were doing in that game, you can see my video, I'll put the link above. Um, they did. They did some great coins. It'd be great if we got something like that. All right. So yeah, you get a pledge, you can print and play it. There's a huge print and play movement going on at the minute with COVID-19. And I don't know if, if, if you are printing and play, please let me know in the comments for me. I've got a big collection behind me um, with solo modes in. I'm quite happy. <laughs> I have no rush to print and play anything. <laughs> Like unique crew, if you only if you could only have one um, green, why is Fido limited? You could only you could only have him. Um, it'd be great if they had their own selection of pets and they made this a different color. Because why is a why is a parrot being classed as a crew member? <laughs> so small. Surely that's not a crew member, a bird. Give me a break. <laughs> Anyhow, so, so yeah, please come on. Let us have let us have a few birds in the game, and maybe make them orange cards. And you can only have one bird on your ship. That'd be cool. Um, yep, yeah, the vessels. You can see. I'll explain this very quickly. The two icons here are the sails that is the speed of the ship and you're basically rolling the dice um, to get this speed icon and if you've got two sails here you can roll the dice twice and you roll three dice at a time so this fishing boat can only roll one set of three dice if he's going up against um, a brigante pirate ship that's going to be rolling um, three dice three times so potentially the fishing boat is toast <laughs> now the fishing boat doesn't have any cannons on it so it's insta kill if you um, catch it and it does come with some victory points when you take that ship you, you, you can decide if I want to take a crew member from the fishing boat um, hopefully it'll be Fido <laughs> you know you don't know what you're going to get and um, if this if, if it's a bigger ship like a treasure ship here you you can get more crew but you can't um, you can't put more crew on your ship than its maximum down here and I'm just gonna say no that it totally I'm not gonna include Fido as a crew member it's a bird <laughs> Please, I, I, something needs to be done about that. <laughs> um, it does have a set of mutiny cards in the deck. Um, so yeah, you need to be aware of that. It can definitely, it can end, end your turn. 
because well, that's going to do it if that comes up. All right, so you get your common crew. You can see the different; they have their own different levels here. You are going to have the option to buy a higher crew um, as well. That's seen as like a something you might not want to do early on in the game anyway. Now these plunder cards. Let me just, I just want to see, it's coming October, so um, and these plunder cards, it'd be great if we could get some images on them, because we've got some great art here for the crew, but can we not get a picture of the the grape shot, the rudder, the improved sails, because it needs to evoke more action on these cards, in my opinion, and the grape shot is like the big shotgun at the sails, that'd be great to see that. Um, so yeah, hopefully we get to see something like that. I do like the ship designs here. It is pretty cool. We've, it does say the empires are coming, so we've not seen if the Spanish are here yet. Maybe this is a stretch goal to get the Spanish warships in. That would be very cool. And it would be nice if there was one ship in the game that had like a uh, a convoy so in order to attack the this special treasure ship it had like two royal navy warships protecting it so you've got to take down the two ships to take out this you know some kind of raid end game mode would be great to fight against um you know something where you've got to take down a group of warships um that would be mega cool and uh, certainly if you could co-op at the end, that'd be nice. So instead of just going for victory points at the end, you could team up together and uh, go for the treasure ship. That'd be far more exciting um, than just point salad at the end. This could totally be done though, the way the card system is set up. And hopefully there is some kind of advanced rule they can put in there to um, get that going because it is, um, you know, pirates. The enemy, enemy of my enemy is my friend. Pirates join up to um, to take out the big treasure. That'd be cool. Maybe there's mutiny between the friendship and the two boats. Fight it out at the end. Oh, that sounds great. <laughs> now, stretch goes. Um, poor sailor here. Two? What is the two money? This is the one thing I can't remember what the money thing is. Because if that's... One money for a level three, that same cost as the level two. And this level one's two money. Is this the amount of money they bring in each turn? Possibly. Possibly. We'll have a look at that in the rule book. Wanna see more? Yeah. We want to see Spanish ships in here for certain. More bird types. Change the bird from a unique. Um, so you can have a bird and a special captain on your ship. Very cool. Um, do love these art of the, the peeps here, very good. Let's see, Justin, please, please get drawing some action on these cards. We want to see more evocative of uh, your, your pictures, please. It looks great so far. And um, yeah, very small team, indie team. And uh, yeah, very small Kickstarter page, but it's, it's tons of excitement here. It's got so much potential. It really has, and um, yeah, mega cool. Right, we'll go to the, the rule book as it'll explain a little bit more, and I want to know what that money icon is, um, so we'll go to the rule book. All right, here's the rule book, and um, I guess it's a work in progress. This can't be the first page. I mean, there's no first page of the rule book. Um. <laughs> now, it is heavy text around it. It would be nice to show a little bit of um, what it looks like on the table with multiple players. It's got the setup here, but no one's playing on a table here. It would be nice to show the, the table setup. And, um, but it's fairly self-explanatory. It, it is kind of nice. It would be, they have this section here where they're doing a chase example that's really nice how they've done that. Um, 
So yeah, it is very good. Now, the balloons. At the beginning of your plunder phase, you may buy plunder cards for free doubloons. Crew cards are six doubloons each. Ooh, man, they're expensive. You can earn doubloons. After purchasing plunder cards, draw balloons equal to the total value of all your crew cards. Players will always also get one extra doubloon for the captain's cut. Uh -huh. <laughs> These three here, is that five coins? It's not, this is not easy to remember. Player draws three doubloons for his crew and one for his captain's cut. Total of four. So these don't have any money on them. The crew is three and there's a one here. So yes, it does look like you're gonna, if you get the drunk of the sailor and a sailor here, that potentially is gonna be earning a lot of money. That, I hope you, you know, this is kind of your starting crew. You'll be able to then buy equipment for your boat and, or your ship, sorry and and yeah that's very, pretty cool you, i guess the better cards don't have money on them so um they're kind of you're buying these later on in the game because they're not bringing any income um to your ship now it does have trade in between characters so there is this pirate to pirate stuff um so it is semi co-op in that regard Um, but yeah, short rule book. Um, it's self-explanatory. A little bit better would be an example of the doubloons if you've got a, a deck like this. Like as I said, it, it's pretty. It doesn't explain the crew if you've got these cards with money on them. So yeah, you just needs to change that up a little bit. Um, it is drab of colour, isn't it? And again, look at these big. Um, borders just huge borders just scale it out to the edge a little bit and have a, a black one and black borders on cards are known to get damaged earlier as well so is there going to be a sleeve pack you're gonna have to sleeve this aren't you <laughs> all right so there you go um could do with a little bit more i want to see what it looks like on the table with multiple players I do need to show you the solo mode, it's down here. Let's go. <laughs> Alright, solo mode. Um, it's a little bit... Um, drab, as in you've got to update your ship in a certain number of turns. If you come to the bottom, here is what the solo turn tracker is like. So you've got to upgrade your ship to the maximum. But it would be more exciting if in solo mode you had to upgrade your ship in so many turns. Because on the end of that turn is when the treasure ship comes. So you've got to have enough on you to attack it because it's got a... Escort. Then, for example, if you if you get to the end of this turn here and your ship's not fully upgraded, you can still duke it out against this escort ship and the treasure ship because why not? <laughs> see see how far you can get in eight and then attack them and see if it's possible because that boss is so cooler than just upgrading your pirate ship because what's that all about <laughs> all right very good let's go back to the main kickstarter page and we'll sum up sum up our thoughts there all right this game has me by the balls so oh, yeah mega excited does need to do a few things though does indeed one, I don't want to be limited by one bird. It sits on the captain's shoulder. 
Got to make that a different class so you can have Fido and another green card. Please make, make birds orange is my example. These giant borders need to be scaled in a little bit. Just too much on the borders really is. Are we getting Spanish ships? We'll find out probably in the stretch goals. And the plunder cards need some kind of graphic on them just to show the how cool it is. Um, another pirate game, party game at the minute, is Pirate's Mark. I'll put the link up above. That has amazing art for it, you know, for doing the um, action shots in that game. So, I mean, you don't have to be as adventurous as Pirate Marks. Um, but, you know, just to kind of show you that there is images out there people are using in their card games on Kickstarter right now at your price level. So, um, yeah, have a look at the competition, see what they're doing. Um, might help inspire the artist to put something on your plunder cards. All right. Shipping on this. Shipping. No shipping. Where's the shipping? <laughs> Is it tied into the pledge? Let's go for the uh, early backer. Is it tied in there? Only United States. Oh my goodness. I've got mutiny on this Kickstarter. Mutiny. And even then it's $10 to the United States. <gasps> well, that is crippling your Kickstarter. You need to get hold of somebody that delivers. Quartermaster. Um, I'll put the I'll put the logo up here. <laughs> Quartermaster Logistics. Get in contact with them. You need to get some some shipping partners because you, man you've got huge fan base in England, in Germany, across the ocean, across the world. Surely in 30 days, you can change your shipping because that will definitely upgrade your Kickstarter. Um, so yeah, got things to do, things to do, but so much promise here. And of course, have the boss. You need a boss ship with escorts on. Um, that'd be mega cool or even have two elite ships or a mega ship from the Spanish or the British. One is a one massive boss ship that is very difficult to take down. That would be very cool. Something better than just upgrading your ship because upgrade your ship to maximum and then attack something that's impossible at the early to mid late game. You've got to have it max to take this big ship on. Um, all absolutely in the realms of possibility. Absolutely. You certainly got time to pull it out. And um, even if it caused the delay, I'd be happy for it. Uh, again, could get much, much better. All right, that's Rolling Plunder. Really, really cool concept and uh, very exciting game. I want to see it grow. Let's see, where it, see what's planned in the next 30 days. It could be very exciting. So definitely keeping my eye on this and um, we'll keep you updated on all news on the channel of course um, we'll update you on Saturday on the Saturday show this week on and until then this is Kickstarter Radio 102.4 I'm Lipstick Patty you take care stay safe and if you're rolling solo with your prints and plays hope you're having fun so bye bye for now